Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Pepper Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Vault City beer. This one is in collaboration with Emperor's Brewing and this is from a Gaelic Sea far, far away. And it is a Isle Whiskey Barrel Aged Imperial Stout at 10 whole English percent. Or Scottish, because they are Scottish. Um, like I said, this was um, collab with Emperor's Brewer, Brewery. Emperor's Brewer. Yeah, Emperor's Brewery. And I've only had one of their beers. And when I say one, it was also a collab. And that was Brew York's fifth, fourth, fifth birthday. The Halloween special ones were, yeah, the five beers. And it was the 15 percenter. And that one was really nice. Um, just grab I'll open that. Um, yeah, that one was really nice. So I'm kind of looking forward to this one. In case you don't know what they look like. That's the logo. Um, yeah, the Emperor's head. That's more clear there. Now, the Gulf says, In the galaxy far, far away, an alliance was formed between Vault City and Emperor's Brewery to create one of the greatest Imperial styles the galaxy has, had ever seen. Seven months of barrel aging in the freshest whiskey casks from Islay? Islay? Anyway has infused the iconic smokiness, adding layers of complexity and depth in this intense whiskey forward stout. Scottish heather honey, creamy vanilla and lactose round out the flavour with a delicate sweetness in harmony with a light bitterness from East Kent Golding Hops. Says all that right there. Um, that's the Bottle art. Um, I don't know where Emperor's Brewer are from. I have a feeling they're from Scotland, uh, not Scotland, from Manchester because there's a bunch of bees all over this one and that tends to be Manchester's thing. Uh, but the actual bottle art looks like some plans from Star Wars, uh, the Rebel plans. Now, um, that's all the guff, that's everything to say about it. Let's crack it open and see what we've got. That's fell on the floor. Um, I will say this is to, I forgot to say, this is to celebrate Vault City's fourth birthday. I did this last year, around the same time last year, where I had Vault City's third birthday, and I kind of got blind drunk because there was four beers and four, three beers, and they were all really, really strong, and I drank them all in one night, and yeah, I was really drunk, but I'm not going to do that tonight. So, there's the beer. Now, there's a few things to say about this one first. Um, Black in the appearance, uh, tanned, compact head. Don't know if the camera can pick it up. Don't think it can. But this actually has, um, when the light gets on it right, the colouring of oil on top of water, that rainbowy sheen. It's got that to it, which is very interesting, and I've never seen that in a beer ever. It's like, yeah, that rainbow sheen from oil on water. So I've got a feeling it's going to be oily. I can smell it already, but just trying to do the, the looking of it, it's, yeah, it's got that, that sheen to it, and it looks gorgeous. That's a very pretty beer. Kind of want to frame it, put it on my wall. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Oh, barrels. Whiskey barrels. A lot of booze. There's a lot of booze in that. Oh, look at that alcohol ring as well. Oh, booze, dark chocolate, honey, a little bit of vanilla. It's not really strong on the vanilla. Oh, it smells really dark, really bitter, with a slight sweetness to it. That smells gorgeous. Let's get a mouthful for body and carb. Oh. oh. Sorry, the flavours are taking me away there. Getting ahead of myself. Body, medium to full body. Carb, next to no carb. It's smooth, it's silky, it's velvety. It's got a really, it's oily. As, like I said, the colour. It's got a really smooth way about it. It's it's very, very smooth. Very, very... It's like a good whiskey. Like, really smooth. Just doesn't... 
burn or it's not horrible it's actually yeah it's really nice velvety smooth creamy thick just good so far so good let's get a big old taste cheers that is proper smoky um it just keeps going you've got dark chocolate honey vanilla whiskey barrels as like it all said it's got a nice smoky flavor to it like a tobacco y flavor um that's oh, really nice slightly dry on the finish and it's literally the mildest bitter oh that's really 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 nice i can't tell if it is actually the whiskey barrel that it says it is i'm gonna assume it is i'm not a whiskey drinker but flavor wise that is an absolutely fantastic beer 10 percent is very well hidden um you do get the alcohol flavor but it's it's flavor it's not burn it's not um warming or tingling or anything like that there's like the tiniest little tickle on the back of your tongue but besides that there's no alcohol burn in your cheeks in your throat on your tongue there's nothing like that it's just a flavor of alcohol which is the whiskey you get the the you can taste it strong, but you can't feel it. If you know what I mean. Starts and ends smoky. In between, you've got your chocolate, your malts, your whiskey, your honey, your vanilla. Because the vanilla is actually better. It's more prominent in the flavour than it is in the smell. It's a fantastic all-round beer. Um, and I think I'm going to go away and enjoy it because I'm not going to down that because it's 10% and I'm not an idiot who's going to get drunk really quickly because it's a Thursday night. Um, I probably should have done this tomorrow, but hey ho. Uh, so, Vault City and Emperor's Brewing. Actually, I didn't, didn't notice that until now. The little X there is a couple of lightsabers clashing. It's nice. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, from a galaxy far, far away. Isley Whiskey Barrel Aged Imperial Stout at 10%. Okay. Out of 10, that's going to get the full marks of 10. That is probably one of the best stouts I've had in a long time. And I'm comparing them to... Well, um, not both, I'm comparing them to Location and Brew York and some of the Giants. That's just a really, really good stout. If you have had this, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't. If you've not had it, I'll leave a link to... Bolt City's website down below. I'll also try and find Emperor's Brewery down below as well. Um, I don't know if they're brewing their own stuff yet. I couldn't find stuff. I've had a look. If like, um, I got mine from Priest Town, it cost me, I want to say, it's like £8. So it's a bit on the expensive side, and I would actually really like to put this in my cupboard and age it for a bit. Anyway, um, if you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff, if you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later.